I was up the proverbial creek without a paddle, I'll tell you that much. 81-year-old Wayne Foyt figured he'd show his 78-year-old war buddy the sights. What better way than a peaceful canoe trip on beautiful Spruce Creek? Maybe an hour, hour and a half. As the pair were heading back to Cracker Creek canoeing. That's where we got stuck because the tides start going out so fast. I mean, within 10 minutes it dropped this much. At one point, the canoe overturned and the men were thrown into the water, sinking into the quicksand-like muddy silt. They got back in, but the canoe was waterlogged. Foyt, who lost his leg in an accident seven years ago, suddenly had an idea. And I took my prosthetic off, and I used that as a bailing cup, which we didn't have nothing to bail with. So I'm, you had to bail the water out with your yes, prosthetic? This one, right there. <laughs> yeah. Rescuers knew the men's start point, but there are miles and miles to Spruce Creek, so they were hoping to pinpoint their location a little better by pinging their cell phone. Problem is, the guys left their cell phone in the vehicle. After all, they only expected to be gone a short while. We pull out all stops. We called in extra people, put them on shift. We reached out to a lot of our law enforcement partners. Police Chief Tom Grimaldi says the men left Saturday afternoon but weren't reported missing until Sunday morning. Then the weather hit. The thick canopy of Spruce Creek makes it hard to see anyway. Add storms, it was a real undertaking. The chief's team had to wade through thigh-deep mud but finally found the two blocked by debris in a tributary at 6.30 p.m. We were able to use a, like a bed sheet basically to wrap them in and we carried them out that way. That was the best birthday present I ever had. Seeing the police come. And the guys coming down the hill. <laughs> Foyt says he and his buddy were celebrating his birthday as well, one he won't soon forget. No more string creeks. In Port Orange, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. Yikes. The two men had a few minor bumps and bruises and some mild hypothermia from the wet and chilly weather. Paramedics checked them out at the scene, but both were allowed to go home. We have not seen.